Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me on this episode. You already know by the title, but can you guess what we're going to do? <laughs> That's right, we're going to head outside on the deck and start working on that outdoor kitchen, so stay tuned. Alright, well let's uh, go out on the deck and... Uh show you what's going on what uh, I have planned out and uh, give you an idea of what we're gonna do so we're gonna build the outdoor kitchen right here in the corner of the deck it's gonna go from here all the way around L-shaped and we're gonna build the barbecue into the uh, I don't even know what you call it countertop or whatever Thank you, airplane, for flying over while I'm trying to film. Bye-bye. Anyways, so we're going to build this in to the deck. And then uh, we're going to have a sink over here and then a prep top, stainless steel prep top over on here. And then uh, a little bit of countertop space and then the built-in barbecue. So you're probably wondering how we're going to fit this in. We're not going to have all this stuff in it and everything. Basically all we're going to do is we're going to take the barbecue part, essentially just this right here, and build that into the countertop. So all this will be all removed and everything and then uh, it'll look nice. But I'm going to go I think about from this 4x4 all the way over to about here. So it should look nice. So I'm going to jump in the truck and then go to Lowe's and uh, pick up any material that I need. Um, I've already actually measured up everything, figured out what I need. Um, so yeah, so we'll come back and then uh, we'll get started. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was nice. That was a good scratch on the camera. He's still alive. He's still there. Well, that concludes our uh, weekly trip to Lowe's. We managed to spend $68 so far. So let's head home and then uh, start on the project. So we're just going to start on this side first because this will be the easier of the sides. Basically, we're just going to build a frame, almost like a table. So we'll just have to measure out how far we want to go and then how far out we want to go and then we'll start building a frame and then I'll just show you along the way. As you saw, this is what I built. Basically, this is the uh, top portion, countertop, if you will, of the uh, section over there. So I just measured it. So this is actually 24 inches overall. The uh, 24 by just stock length of the 2x4. So uh, that's that. Now we just have to uh, build some legs so it can stand on its own over there. So uh, let's get to that. We'll go measure, see how tall we want it, and then cut the two by fours, and then uh, go from there. Man, what's wrong with you? Just like that, we have our first section of uh, our outdoor kitchen. The uh, bottom half, the legs are a little bit crooked right now. They're not squared because I don't have the uh, support legs going all the way around the bottom. But I will do that. But just so you get an idea, here's our first 
part of the L-shaped kitchen. This is uh, 36 inches tall, just for reference. I went off of uh, basically the uh, height of this barbecuer, just because it feels like a comfortable height to be at, you know. So now we're going to start working on the uh, second half of it, which is a little more difficult because uh, we have to fit this thing in there and make it look like it belongs. So basically it's going to be a lot like this frame here, but it's going to be notched out a little bit lower so that this can sit on top of it and then uh, look like it belongs there. Hopefully that makes sense, but as we go, it'll all come together and it'll make sense hopefully for you guys but uh yeah I don't know if you can uh, probably can't tell but I am sweating my ass off I need a drink so we're gonna go into the kitchen make a quick drink of course and make everything all right and just like that we are refreshed Let's get back to work. Before we get started, let's check out my score. I scored this sink right here for six bucks at a ReStore. It's kind of like a, a Goodwill, but for home improvement stuff, it's all repurposed and uh, this sink will go right here. It'll be perfect. Now, it's got these three holes in it, but what I plan to do is I'm going to uh, weld up those holes, fix those holes so they're uh, not there and then uh, drill my own hole for whatever faucet that I decide to do in this but that's a cool pickup for six bucks I mean you can't beat that it's perfect for outdoor kitchen we have the first section of our uh, L second L shape which that's gonna be the countertop part prep top you know where you uh, put your burgers and all that cool stuff and now we're gonna step it down a little bit and make room for the barbecue to sit right here and then we'll have another part that goes right here also so it'll be another countertop barbecue and then this I know it doesn't look all that fancy or nice yet but this is the ugly part. The nice part will be when we uh, finish it up, put all the countertop in, and uh, all the cool stuff. So just look at your barbecue, and you can see here's where the metal frame starts, and then here's where your actual barbecue is. So you're only going to use to here, and then over to here. So you need to take your measurements of your barbecue, just like that. So we got 30 and we'll just say 30 and 3 eighths. So that's the opening that you want. But you also are going to have, you're going to want some play so you can move it in and out. And also we're going to line the uh, frame with a cement board. So you're also going to want that extra room too, which is a quarter inch of uh, cement board. The reason why we want to put the cement board underneath this is we don't really want the heat and the... Uh, you know the flames to catch the wood on fire so we're going to put cement board to protect the wood from catching the fire so that's going to lift up this it's going to sit on the uh, quarter inch cement board and also it's going to be lined on the sides so you're going to want to take an account of a quarter inch on each side and also underneath hopefully that makes sense but as i'm doing it step by step I'll be able to uh, show you what I mean and hopefully that'll all make more sense. So I just measured the barbecue and now I know the dimensions of the inside of this section and the height of it because the height is going to be different because we want this, if we set this on top of here, the barbecue is going to be super high because it's all the way down here. You get what I'm saying? It has some height to it already so we want to make sure that it sits pretty much the same height as what this is right now. So we're going to measure from here all the way down, which is 29 and a half inches. So that's going to be our height of the frame that we're going to build for the barbecue. So I'm not going to make you watch another time lapse of all this, but uh, basically I'm going to make 
the same thing, the same kind of frame style as that one, just going to be um, 32 inches wide to fit the barbecue and then 29 and a half inches tall so that uh, it all works out. So I'll just go ahead and build it and then we'll skip forward to that and I'll show you when I'm done. All right, well, there it is. We got the uh, section for the uh, barbecue all framed out and it's, uh, it's starting to come together. The shade is really killing the vibe, but uh, now we just have one more section. It's going to go right here. Probably just another uh, two foot section that's going to be the same height as this right here. We'll uh, build that out and then we'll come back and then we'll uh, see the uh, finished, well not exactly finished, but the uh, outline of what we're doing and then we'll go over of how I'm going to cover everything and what it's going to look like. And there we go. We have our outline framing all done. Not necessarily all done because I'm still going to uh, frame out the bottom half. But uh, I'm going to leave that for later. Just because I don't know where I want to put my shelving or anything like that yet. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to add doors or what. So I'm going to leave that alone. But what do you guys think? It's going to be a good size. It's going to be freaking awesome. So I think what we'll do is we'll just go over with uh, what I'm going to do now that the framing is made. So I have thought about what I'm going to do, but I don't know exactly. So maybe you guys can help me out in the comments and let me know what, you, what I should do. But this portion of basically from here over, I'm going to build a stainless steel uh, countertop. So this will be all food prep, and then the sink will go right here. You know, we'll have a faucet, a drain, all that good stuff. And then uh, underneath here, it'll just all be storage for whatever we want to put under there. And then over here, I'm thinking about doing maybe, I was thinking cement, but if you watch my other cement video, I'll put a link right here. I don't really like cement countertops, so I'm not sure I want to try it again. But maybe, that's a possibility. But I might tile this, and then whatever I do here, I'm going to do over here. So uh, maybe comment down in the comments. Let me know what you think, what do you want me to do, or what do you think is a good idea. But uh, I'm leaning towards tiling it, because it might be pretty cheap too. So now, basically, if you look here, now it probably makes a lot more sense of where we're putting the barbecue. So the barbecue is going to go right inside there. So now hopefully, visually, you're getting an idea of where this is going. What do you guys think? I do know that uh, I've been working for about mm, four or five hours. Sweat my ass off. I've had about four or five Captain and Cokes. I'm feeling good. So I really feel like this is a good time to uh, end the video. This is going to be a multiple uh, series vi of videos for this. So uh, yeah, I want to uh, thank you guys for watching. And uh, make sure you uh, click down, subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet. And uh, yeah, thanks for joining me. And stay tuned next week for uh, the second part of this uh, building an outdoor kitchen. Peace out.